Thousands of people are returning to their homes today after an 8.3 magnitude earthquake hit Chile last night. At least 10 people are dead. More than a million others were forced to evacuate. The violent shaking caught on security camera began around 8 o'clock last night. Dozens of smaller aftershocks rattled the country through the night after the initial 8.3 quake. Tsunami waves caused flooding along the Chilean coast. Meanwhile, a tsunami advisory remains in effect for Southern California. Take a look at the waves this morning near San Diego. The Coast Guard says they are seeing increased swells up to about a foot, and they're also seeing choppy conditions. Police are asking swimmers and surfers to stay out of the ocean. It was also a tsunami advisory for Hawaii, but that's just been lifted. Experts say the fact that the death toll is not higher in Chile is a remarkable testament to how prepared they are for major earthquakes. We wanted to know how Portland and the rest of Oregon would fare in an earthquake the same size. Brent Weisberg is going to be on the headlines. Experts say if an 8.3 magnitude or larger earthquake hit the Portland metro, we'd expect to see a lot more damage than what we saw in South America. Quake danger in Chile is very similar to what we have off the coast of Oregon. The city of Portland today keeping close tabs on what unfolds in Chile. We asked them and the Bureau of Emergency Management how we compared to Chile in terms of earthquake readiness. In Chile, it's important to remember in 1960, they had the largest earthquake in the history, in recorded history occurred. And based on that and other quakes, uh, their building codes are some of the, the best in the, the world. The city has updated its building codes. You design your buildings for what the known hazards are. And so a building today is built to a higher standard and encourages homeowners and private businesses to start earthquake retrofitting. Now our building codes have started to catch up with other parts of the world, um, but we're not quite exactly where Chile or California or Japan happens to be. In the coming days, weeks and months, city officials, along with local and national geologists, will debrief, hoping to learn from the latest earthquake so that Oregon is better prepared. Reporting in downtown Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg. Coin Six News. We want to make sure you and your family are prepared for an earthquake if it happens here. Join us next week on Coin Six News and Coin.com for Quake Week. We'll have stories all week covering everything from what will happen in the quake to how to survive for several weeks. That's starting Monday on Coin Six News and on Coin.com.